Hey guys, welcome back. Lusion here with you again, like always. Back for another episode of the DNS Tech Pack. So last episode, had a really kind of a short video that I did last night after I was super tired, so hopefully it doesn't suck too bad, but uh, we just did a few odd jobs and killed the weather and some bee stuff and just, you know, things around the base that needs to be get done. So over here in the bee area, um, threw in some automation upgrades, threw in some impulse item ducks, with a retriever, yanking everything back to this jarphonic chest. That way I can kind of just kind of keep an eye on what I'm working on. But I do need to go to the nether to look for one of the um, bees over there in the nether that I need to get. A, uh, a uh, mundane bee. So we're doing, doing pretty good on power. Still building up. 7.2 gig RF. So today's episode we're going to work on is kind of starting to dive into Draconic Evolution, and I want to go to the end. So speaking of the end, I got the the um, Eyes of Ender out, and I was, you know, throwing them up in the air trying to find the Stronghold, and I kept going, and I always have trouble finding the Stronghold because they just, they just don't like me. So I um, kept throwing them and throwing them and throwing them. And they just didn't go anywhere. Um, they just kept going back and around in a circle right over here. So I was like, no, surely that I cannot be this close to the nether portal. Or to the um, end portal. Sure enough, right here. Like, right there next to my base. So, um, that's kind of a shocker. So we got that going, and um, I didn't do much exploring around here. I just... So that's what we're going to be doing today: is kind of draconic evolution and some end-related stuff. I do need some slime balls, though. Not anything good around here. Probably not. I do need mushrooms, though. Mushrooms I do need. Probably gonna get lost. I need mushrooms for something. Oh, yeah, the, um, the upgrade to kill the bees quicker. That's right. So yeah, that's kind of kind of a cool little twist of being like right here, and now I'm lost. No, there it is. There it is. There it is. All right, so let's fly home. Oh, there's more mushrooms. Oh, awesome, awesome. Definitely need mushrooms. A bunch of them. Which one did I need? The Gendistry. Oh, which one is it? Go away, zombie. No way home. Brown mushroom. Brown mushrooms, which those are red, but with Batania we can flip them. Flip the red ones over to brown ones. We'll just take everything. Are we trying to break that door down. Okay. My phone is going off in the background, but that's all right. Where's my hole? There it is. So, before we start our journey off to the end, now we found the portal, I want to get a few things made. Um, one thing I want to get made is a digital miner, because I want to take the digital miner, is, so if we find any draconium ore, which I already have my inventory, so I can set the filter, then we can kind of suck it up. 
Um, so we need to finish that. I believe I had most of the stuff ready or cooking. What's that? Was that what I wanted? Did G minor? What are we missing? Energy tablets. Oh come on! I thought I had everything ready to go. So anyway, we're gonna get that going. Just make like ten of those, please. And so I got the so we got the enough digital miner work. Um, I got the crossbow so we can kill the dragon once we get there. Um, oh, charm. That's what the other thing I wanted. We'll make that real quick. So I want to make this enhanced charm of dislocation from Draconic Evolution. That way we can kind of jump back and forth from different locations um, through the through the multiple worlds. So I think I got everything laid out for this as well. So that's that, and then we'll go ahead and upgrade. So we need four of those. So that's another reason why I needed that nether star from last episode. So I knew I wanted to get this made. Okay, cool. And we're gonna grab some ender pearls to feed it. Um. Yeah. Cool. So add fuel. I wonder if there's a way to add all. Okay. Well, whatever. So we're going to add new and we're going to call this workshop. Commit. So, hold on, right click, and then we'll teleport home, back to the workshop. So we can go to the end and um, do that. All right, are you done with my tablets? Yes. Digital miner. Okay, you should be done now. Alright, cool. Alright, so now grab a spot loader just in case we need one. So I got everything for make that run. Now this is the right ender chest. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's good. So we got everything to make that run. We got enough to kill the dragon. Get the heart. Got Get, get that all going. So yeah, all right. So I think that's I think that's good. All right. So I'm gonna go fly over there, and I will bring you back once the world loads in. Nice. Love how it does that. So cool. So I'll bring you in, bring you back once the world finishes loading up, and um, not so laggy. We'll go ahead and turn that on just in case. See you in a minute. All right. So spawned in here. And didn't mean to aggro you, but boom, boom. I have yet to see the dragon. There she is. Get all these broken. my arrows up here and it looks like there's one there I think I got them all all right where you at it's consistent 34 damage now I want to bring 
bring her back over, make sure we're over the island before we kill her. Get our XP shower. And make sure we get our heart. Oh look, I forgot that the texture changes for the Draconium Ore. Draconic Ore. Depending on what, uh dimension you're in. Give me that heart. Any time. We might as well fly down, get our XP scooped up. Come on, heart. Got it. Nailed it. I want. I need to look up what these are from um, immersive engineering because I got a few of them. Now, what I can do. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add new. We'll call it the end. Commit. And what I'll do here is grab this, send this stuff home. Oh, so piston. Order me one of those, please. That'll work. Go ahead and scoop up our egg. If you notice that um, the sound seems to disappear when cross dimensions as well. Right. Actually, I probably will leave that there because once I resurrect, I think the they'll stack. Well, they'll go in the same plot, spot, I should say. You go there, you go there. Okay, cool. I need to put Soulbound on that. Alright, so next, let's do this. Let's see if we find any bees. No, I saw some of them. I wonder how I should do this. Now this only has Fortune 1 on it. I don't think I have. A Fortune 3 pickaxe. I have a Fortune 3 hammer. I guess that's not work. So I'm going to spend a few minutes in here. Kind of gathering up some loot. I don't need pitch blend right now since we're not doing reactor craft yet. But yeah, there's looks like there's a little bit. There's just some NBs. Not very many. A few more. All right, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes collecting up this stuff and then I will bring you back. I'm probably going to go see if I can find a comet pretty close by and then stick the uh, digi miner on them down there so we can do that. So I shall return. Alright guys, so about five or ten minutes worth of looking. Finally came across a comet but it doesn't show up very good since I'm this high but we're basically I just kind of flew around. It was basically straight east of the main island. Another fact that I had did not know until just now is that solar panels charge in the uh, end. Didn't know that. So looks like maybe here-ish 
so I can't be bothered by coming around and mining all these up by hand. So I'm just gonna let the digi miner handle it for me. Pump it into it in the chest, send it back to base. I can't remember if this bot loads or this junk loads, so I'll just throw down a chunk loader. Put that there, and we'll put that on the unmetered power. Oh, I like the new three panel thing. That's kind of cool looking. Config, we are going to have a radius of 32, which can do a 64 by 64 area. Um, what's our Y level? 108. Um, so minimum we'll do 40, max 140, that new filter, save, and we are going to Auto eject, yes. Silk touch, yes. Which is going to pull more power, but that's fine. We got plenty of power to spare. And, um. It's only got 35? Really? I could have mined that by hand. Hello there. Well, that's fine. That's 30, it's 30 blocks I didn't have to mine. Um, end miner. Commit. And I guess we'll fly home. I need to put Soulbound on that. I might go do that now-ish. So the rest of my bees up in my golden bag. So as whoa, as the bees are, or I'm sorry, as the draconium is coming in here, it should be pretty much auto-exported right into here and get um, go through the five times processing, which will help out a lot. I probably could throw down a little bit more fuel just to keep this fella running. Got 110 buckets. Just slam that down there. And it adds back basically an hour's worth of fuel that tank to each one. So now we're at an hour and four where we were at with five minutes. So cool. So this will basically process all that draconium coming in. So that's nice. Alright, let's check here. Do I have... I know I had a soulbound plate. But I didn't have a soulbound book. Okay, well that's fine. Let's clean up the new port. And... Grab three books. Two books, I'm sorry. Soul bound. And make another soul bound book, and then we'll put it on here. I go grab. I got 72 levels. Do not need to grab any levels. Cool. Alright. So now we will never lose that. I will store my XP up. So that's good there. Everything else is soul bound on, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's working. I'll stick you in here just for rainy day. And then I'll stick you in here to repair up. Nice. Nailed it. Now, is there anything else we want to get into dr Draconium? We're going to need a few things. I definitely want to get a sword made. 
because I want to get the um, was the the reaping enchant. They will give you mob souls because that's how I want to power my new mob spawner. So yes, you can get it from just doing regular enchants, but if you have a draconic sword, it does help your odds significantly. So there's what the mob soul looks like. So we got that. We got a heart. So we could go ahead and make like a energy infuser and go ahead and convert these guys over to awaken draconium because we got the power to charge up blocks. So we can do that. That's not a problem. So maybe that's what I'll kind of leave us at for today's episode is draconic. Um, I definitely need to cook up some more dust for sure energy infuser yeah I knew it would be out of redstone never seen to have enough redstone blocks Give me like 50 of those please so we don't ever run out for a while. Particle generator. Bam, bam, bam. So the cool thing about the energy infuser is it goes super fast to charge up things. Like super, super fast. So we'll let, the, let that guy cook up, and I guess we can, you know, let's try something. Well, I don't have enough yet, but we're getting there once we get to 36. One, two... Three, four. Do I have another induction matrix? Oh, not induction matrix. Yes, I do. So grab the you, you, and. No, I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah, it's raining. How much power are you pulling? No, it's not too much. Ah, they did fix it. Okay. Yeah, they fixed it. The older versions, you could charge four of them at a time. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Okay. The older versions, you could charge four of them at a time, and it's a little cheaty, because you could have basically cost a fourth of what they would normally cost. But you can see how it goes relatively quickly. But right now, we're kind of limited on um, how much power we're putting in. So that's why I brought the other one of these things, induction ports, so we can go a whole lot quicker. Oh yeah, I have you. I have you right there. Wow, that is crazy. Outputting that much, outputting ten times. That's only that's limited because that's what my um, the 
that's what my uh, limitation here is on because I only have one provider. And then cool, that's done. Done, 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 done deal. Wow. Not, not you. Click on the matrix. I didn't realize this can hold or change the how it's stored. So yeah, I guess I'll spend a minute here charging these guys up. Um, probably be it for the day, 25 minutes in. I need to wrap up so I can do some other things today. Hopefully you guys are great. <laughs> Have a great weekend or whenever this video comes out. I will see you guys soon.